Hey guys, this is Angela and it's time to start our pinwheel pattern and our pattern says right side, which is RS, row 1, hot rows, single crochet, 55. Now I'm going to use a J 6 millimeter hook. You may use any size hook that you like. This is just what I prefer. And because it calls for 55 stitches, we are going to chain 56 because you always chain one more than what it calls for. So you remember how to make your slip knot and you are going to chain 56 stitches, okay? So there's one, two, three, four, I'm not going to make you watch me chain 56, so I'm going to chain my 56 and I'll be right back. Okay, I have my 56 chains. Now, you never count this one that's on the hook and you don't go into this first one. That's why we chained the extra one. So we're going to single crochet into the second one from the hook. So we're going to go in there and we're going to single crochet. So that's one, two, three, four, five. You're going to single crochet the hot rows all the way to the end. And when I get almost to the end, I'll come back and show you what to do. Okay, right now I'm on 45, so this is 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54 and 55. You want to make sure that when you get to the end you have 55 stitches. It's extremely important. I cannot tell you how important it is that you make sure that you always have the right amount of stitches when you're doing color changes. So when you get to the end of every row you are going to chain one and turn your work. Okay, now we've chained one and we've turned our work. Now right now we only have one bobbin so it did not matter which way I turned my work. When I add another bobbin I'm going to show you a little trick to keep your bobbins straight. And we're going to hope that they stay straight because they don't always. Or for me they don't anyway. But um, we're going to do our best to keep them straight. Okay, now row two, it says WS, which means wrong side, row two, hot rows, single crochet, 55. So that is the same color, just the same solid, 55 stitches. So we're going to go all the way across with the same. Now even though we did the chain one. We're going to go into this first. Whoops. We're going to go into this first stitch. Now I want to tell you, I'm not a professional, and I'm not pretending pretending to be. I'm going to make mistakes, and if I do, they're going to be on camera, and I'm going to unravel it, and I'm going to show you because I don't want you to think if you make a mistake, just throw your stuff away and give up because I don't do that, and I don't want you to do it either. I don't want you to get frustrated, and I don't want you to quit. I want you to just keep going and that's what I'm going to show you and that's what I'm going to do. And um, so, you know, don't just throw in the towel and give up. But um, I want you to go into this first stitch here. You'll see the, the holes on this row like I showed you in the other video. So we're going to single crochet here. And if it helps, go ahead and count and make sure that you've got 55 stitches when you get to the end. So I'm going to turn this off so that I can go ahead and crochet to the end. And when I get to the end, since this is not any color changes and this is still a solid color, 
I'll come right back. Okay, I'm almost to the end of this solid row. This is row two. And I think that what I'm going to do is go ahead and stop this video when I get to the end. And when I start the next row, which will be row three, it's going to be a new video because that's where the color changes are really going to start. And I want you to be able to start it and stop it and not have to scroll through all of this if you don't have to. So what we're going to do is go ahead. We're at the end of row two. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work and we're going to get ready to start row three in video two.